All right, what is up, guys? Today is a pretty simple video. I got a bunch of presents from from some of my guys, from my friends at DIY Go Karts. This particular box is from Flying Hillbilly in Arkansas, aka Nate. Um, but uh, they sent me a bunch of flathead parts, and I can't thank them enough. So I haven't even opened this box yet. It just arrived today, and I opened. Um, I also got a box from Carl Vild. Uh, I'll put. I'll link each one of their channels in the description. They also do some YouTube stuff. But um, I also opened a box of parts from a other other flathead parts from Carl Vild a while back, and um, I'll I'll open that up again to show you guys what I got. But uh, for now. Let's open up the box from Flying Hillbilly. Can't wait to see what's in here. He, it, this is a total mystery to me because uh, he he wanted to keep the surprise, and I, I kind of like that idea too. Because uh, it sounds like there's going to be a lot of good stuff in here. Because I've seen some of his race carts in action on the, in his videos, and they are fast monsters. Oh boy! Get out of here! Okay, okay, okay. What? You sent me a whole, what? You sent me a Raptor block. This is a Raptor Briggs engine block, a short block. Oh, my goodness. Okay, I was expecting like a bunch of miscellaneous parts. No, instead, I get an entire Raptor block. Okay, okay, that is unbelievably cool. Thank you. Let's see how much how much shrink wrap this takes. Ooh, ooh, it looks like a, it's a, I think that's an intake manifold. Ooh, it's had the eyebrows shaved. <gasps> I think it's a big valve. Oh no, oh no, you spoiled me, man. You spoiled me. Oh, come on, this is, this is unreal. This is unreal. Okay. Mm. Wow, it's a lot of shrink wrap. You packed this well, man. Okay, it's got a billet breather plate. Oh, it's been poured and polished. Bigger exhaust port. Yep, this thing's definitely had some work done. Oh boy. Okay. This is going to be a flathead party in here. Okay. Okay. If I'm not mistaken, this is a Burris side cover too. It's got this upper drain plug. That's an aftermarket side cover. Uh, let's see here. Okay. All right. So that's the block. It's more like a short block, actually. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. It's been bored and sleeved. Oh, boy. Oh, Alan's. Bolts. Okay, now let's see what else is in here. What secrets await us? Okay. Oh boy. It's okay. Okay, so it's got it's got a ball bearing in here. Yeah, this uh, I don't know, it might not be a Burris side cover, but definitely aftermarket. 
because usually on these flatheads, the, the ball bearing is heat, sh heat fitted onto the crankshaft, so it's one piece. Oh no. Oh no. What do we got in here? Maybe I should turn this over right now. It's got an arc billet connecting rod. Got a, got a um, crankshaft cam drive gear. Um, oh boy, what is this cam? What is this cam? Okay, so it's one ball bearing. It's got one ball bearing on the PTO side. Power takeoff. Okay, so it's got some sort of a cam in it. It looks like, um, on first glance, it looks like a peaky cam. Like, it, it looks like it's got a lot of lift, but not a whole lot of duration compared to the 95.4, um, which I'll show you guys in a minute. Um, I can't figure out how to get this cam out. I'm not going to force it right now. But, um, that is completely awesome. And so, yeah, now that I've opened it up, let me pick up the camera so that way you guys can get a better look at what's in here. And I'll, I'll go over each one. Okay, so, first off, it is, okay, so first off, well, wrong side. It's a raptor block. That's why. That usually the, there's a hole there for the governor arm. Not even there. That means it's a genuine raptor block, which is amazing. These things are really rare and very expensive. Um, then that also goes over here. No oil, no low oil sensor hole. Looks like it's been welded here for some reason. Maybe just plain old reinforcement. Maybe to repair an old crack. It's pr more common than you'd think on these old beasties. Um, got a three horsepower coil, a three a, a coil adapter for a three horse flywheel. Um, I, I might put a billet flywheel on it, um, plain bearing there, Let's see here, got the billet, um, billet breather cover, and there's probably, um, there's probably stiffer valve springs underneath here too, so this thing will probably turn in excess of probably 6,500 RPM. I'm gonna have to contact Flying Hillbilly see what see what he says. Um, definitely had head work done. I mean that is oh man, it's hard to see hard to see, but um, that is very smooth. And I, you know, on the form I posted pictures of the head on my other engine, and the port is not that smooth. It's pretty rough. Same over here, and the the valve guide has been smoothed out. The valve stems are noticeably shinier. They look machined, and um, that's definitely a big valve. <laughs> it's had a big valve installed, it looks like. Um, and of course, poured in, uh, it's been poured and polished with the eyebrows shaved, classic mods. And um, if I'm not mistaken, this thing has been bored and sleeved too. I mean, look at this, that, that's, that's not usual for these. And if you look down the four, you can actually see on the piston, it says, 030, which means it's been bored 030 over. So that means that I'd have to I have to check the math, but I think that makes this like a 210 cc engine. It gives us a few extra cc's. Oh, here's another. Here's more proof that it's a genuine Raptor. The bolt holes go down farther. The, the bolt, the head bolt um, shaft goes down farther. Um, if I'm not mistaken, go, yeah, it goes down an extra fin. So usually it goes down to this fin. In this case, it goes down to this one because it's heavier duty for racing. Um, that cam gear is definitely not normal. Um, they, they're not dished like that usually. I'm not sure exactly why it's dished, probably to save weight, but, um, and then there's an arc connecting rod in there. Oh, which is awesome. Um, so yeah, he basically sent me a short block. Um, I'm gonna need to track down a crankshaft to, to put in this thing, but that's not the end of the world. I mean, these parts alone, man, this is... This whole thing alone is worth hundreds of dollars. Oh wait, oh wait, maybe it is a stock, um, a stock side cover. I'm not totally sure. Ooh, it's got a dipstick. That's nice. Um, I don't, I don't think the Burris side covers have a camshaft, or, or I mean a governor shaft. Um, but ball bearing, of course, that's good. Ball bearing on the PTO side is more important actually because it gets put under more stress. Um, actually, let me double check to see on which flange this goes. If I had to take a guess, 
Yeah, that looks like it's an intake manifold for Tillotson, I believe. I believe Flying Hillbilly usually runs Tillotsons on here, so that's a Tillotson intake. You'd have to, or, well, maybe not. Basically anything will fit on there if it clamps on. Oh, another, more proof that it's a genuine Raptor. It's got a third bolt hole right here. That is also, that is also unique to Raptor blocks. So, <laughs> that's awesome. Um, steel sleeve, of course. And so yeah, this thing's worth hundreds of dollars, I would say. Like just, oh, at least brand new with all these parts. The side cover's worth 60-ish dollars, I think. Cam is probably worth at least at least sixty to ninety dollars. Um, the connecting rod definitely at least sixty. Let me see here. Does it say what length it is? Uh, I can't read that right now, but um, I'm gonna have to clean it up a little bit. But um, our connecting rod is <laughs> definitely valuable, and of course, just the fact that it's a like, worked Raptor block, like. It's been poured and polished with the eyebrow shade, and I'm pretty sure it's a big valve. Pretty sure. And um, valve train upgrades. This is, um, I almost want to say it's too much, too much new, but, um, well, I, um, I like it. <laughs> that's, as, that's as simple as that. This is completely awesome, man. So this actually comes at a very interesting time because, um, as you guys know, I recently fixed up the green monster, the race cart, and I want to race it at the track. And the thought occurred to me, because I've already modded my flathead engine, I was thinking, hmm, what if I put that on the race cart and then take that to the track? Because I checked, I can do that, it's just that I won't, um, it's just that I won't be able to get awards this time, because I'll be the only one in my class, basically. But I just want to race for the fun of it, because I want to race, not because I want awards. So, but this actually fixes that dilemma. I was thinking that I was going to take whatever parts Flying Hillbilly sent to me, stick them on the flathead, then stick the flathead on the race cart, and then smoke everybody at the track. Not so now. Now that I have this block with all these very nice components, I can just build another flathead to put on the race cart, and I'll have a spare Predator 212 just sitting around. Um, so this is awesome. Oh yeah, by the way, this, for reference, this is a normal flathead cam. That is the upgraded one. Definitely not normal. That one looks like it's been machined, I believe, for lightness, lower, lower rotating mass. Um, pretty, it, it's the same, same teeth and, and metal, it would seem. So it's just an upgraded cam. But this came out of an old rototiller. Um, that, that engine was really nasty inside, so I salvaged the cam. But yeah, um, okay, I've got another project, put together another, put together a Raptor, a real Raptor. Um, for, for those of you who don't know, I built the flat, the hothead engine to be a pseudo Raptor. I built it almost to Raptor spec. I, I gave it, it I, um, I got it a Raptor rod and I ungoverned it. I did a few other things, so it's, Almost Raptor spec in terms of performance, I believe, but it's not. But now I have a real Raptor, which is insane. I never thought I would ever get a chance to handle one of these and build one. Um, I'm gonna have to find a crankshaft that I can put this on because I'm gonna have to change the gear apparently. Um, maybe not. Maybe maybe that's just a stock gear that just that was just pulled off. But um, so yeah, a Raptor, an entire Raptor. Um, like I said, almost too much, Nate. Now it's time to open up the box from Carl again to show you guys what he sent me a while back because I can't, can't forget about him. He sent me a lot of good stuff too. All right, so now it's time to open up Carl's gifts one more time because Carl Guild, again, link in the description, he also sent me some gifts for flatheads. This is for Briggs flatheads. Two, uh, two 18 pound valve springs entertainers. So heavier valve springs. This is actually kind of the big part of this this box. A 95.4 grind dyno cam. That thing is nice. Basically this is a little, this is similar to the Mod 2 cam for Predators. It just has more duration, no extra lift really. So it just has a little bit more power top end, just a little more flow overall. 
but it's still a big improvement on the stock cam, and I'm not sure I'd, I should contact DinoCam to see if this thing still has the um, compression release bump on it, because I would think that they would remove that, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure. And is there anything else in this box? No. Okay. Just packing stuff. So it's just the cam and the valve springs in this box, this particular one. But there's another box underneath it. Fun stuff. All right. So this is where even more stuff is in weight. There's the cam card to the 95.4. And um, this is where it gets a little stupid. An arc billet aluminum flywheel. I wasn't even expecting this, Carl. I thought you were just sending me a cam and some valve springs. No, you sent me an arc billet flywheel. That is insane. And this is perfect for the Raptor. So, I mean, then it'll have a billet rod and a billet flywheel, which is kind of all you can really ask for. I mean, it's, it's gonna be insane. Also, he sent me some miscellaneous gaskets and a little something to pull off pull off the old hothead flywheel with, although I still haven't used this. Not yet, anyways. But, um, yeah. Um, you spoil me too much, guys. Stop it. But don't stop. I like it. Um, and also, I might as well read the note that Carl sent me with the box. It's a long one. Uh, Dear Mr. JT Speed Demon, and that's my alias on the DIY go kart form, check that out. Uh, congratulations on winning the 2019 build-off. As you point out, the first go-kart I drove was a Starbird, the same model as the Hothead. Uh, well, really, a later one made by Phoenix Engineering that bought out Bird. It was also powered by 5 horsepower Briggs, so I think it's great that you're interested in fixing and improving these old beasts. Since the build-off trophy went missing, you deserve something more than a t-shirt, which I'm wearing. This is, the pro this is one of the prize for winning the 2019 build-off, which was awesome. Thank you, Robert, at DIY Go-Karts. The administrator there. To install your camshaft, you may need to remove the crank and flywheel. I know you are having difficulty removing your flywheel, so I included a puller. So if you drill and tap two holes in the flywheel and use two long quarter by 20 bolts, the puller can be attached. Then you can smack the end of the puller while prying, etc. Include a cheap tap, easy on it, Harbor Freight, and a 732 drill bit. Do not worry about damaging the flywheel as you now have a much safer billet aluminum donut. First time I read this note, I hadn't seen the bottom of the box yet, so I was, I, I, I just about flipped out when I read that the first time. The seals might fit if you damage yours, and since you might need to remove the head, and since you need to remove the head gasket, uh, uh, excuse me, and since you need to remove the head gaskets as well. The copper gasket needs a needle, but is reusable. Good luck, Carl. And it also has more stuff on the other side, so I might as well read it. P.S. The cam may look very similar to the factory cam. Don't mix them up. I've measured it against a factory cam, and the grind is indeed different. The 95.4 is not current production. I bought it in new old stock on eBay. The box had the old school logo and stickers. The info I gave you on it was from an email. I had to ask Dino Cams themselves for it. So it's about so it's 20 plus years old. So this is an old Dino Cams grind. They don't make it anymore. RPM range is uh, approximately 3,500 to 6,600 for the 95.4, 18 pound spring pressure, and about 28 degrees timing. That should be what the arc flywheel has built in, 28 degrees before top dead center. Be careful starting it for the first time. Kickback is not fun. Roll it over just past compression, retract rope, swift pull. A thick glove is suggested until you get the hang of it. Send it and wear a helmet. Yeah. So... Well, this is, act this is actually really great, because now I have this bad boy, the Raptor, and I need to track down a crankshaft for it. Um, I need to check to make sure this was originally a normal stroke one, because Flying Hillbilly has built strokers before, so I'm going to make sure that, I'm going to see if this is a this was originally a stroker as well, because if it is, then I'm going to need a different, cam different crankshaft, obviously. Um... But yeah, so now I have a billet flywheel for it, and um, I'm going to need to figure out exhaust and a carburetor, of course. But um, this is going to be very interesting, because I'm going to get to build a Raptor from parts, and then put it on a race cart, and hopefully take it to the track. This is going to be epic. So, yeah, thanks for watching. 
Um, thank you, Nate and Carl. You're too kind. I mean, really, I was not expecting this really at all. It, it was their idea. They contacted me about these parts. Um, and thank you. Thank you is all I can really say. It's, it's a lot. It's really generous of you guys. And, um, and just maybe there'll be some way I can repay you guys someday. But in the meantime, thanks for watching. I gotta go get ready to go to North Texas Carters in Dallas. Oh, north of here actually, not even in Dallas. But anyways, I'm going to the track just today to get a tour and uh, test drive other race parts. So I'm gonna film that too. And um, I will see you next time.